ladies and gentlemen, Dirty Dan, the barbecue man, Rebecca Short, and Goose of all here to chew bubblegum. How y'all doing? Doing good. Doing Hang good. in there. Nice, yes, nice. How, How are, are you? you? Good. How are you? <laughs> doing good. Doing good. I've been so excited about this podcast. I, I like going deep down the rabbit hole like this. This is one of my good buddies yes, right here. Yes. So we'll have great friends. Yeah, we'll have a really, really, really good time today. So, well, first I want to ask y'all about like uh, the new editions of Here to Chew Bubblegum and all that. How did all of this come about? Um, well, uh, Cronkite took a new job, and he couldn't, uh, due to time restraints, he had to leave the, leave the show. Yeah. So uh, I've known uh, Dirty Dan and uh, Rebecca for a while, and uh, Dirty Dan is just a natural at it. And uh, we'll be adding some segments coming up from uh, Rebecca called, what was it? Uh, uh, for the radio show, Honest yeah. Rebecca Thoughts. Okay. And it will be called something else on the on the podcast. <laughs> um, I actually met Rebecca through TikTok uh, because she made me aware of the Great Awakening map. Yeah. And I reached out to her to interview her as a guest a few months ago, and we started corresponding, and then me and her and Chris started corresponding, and you know that's that's how we all came together. And it's like you know meeting old friends. Yeah. Well, yeah, I've been listening to the uh, episodes that y'all have done so far, and it, I mean, it's 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 still so good. Like there, sometimes like it, well, new guests can be like it gets awkward kind of getting everything going, but no, nah, I mean, just fresh out of the gate, it's like it, it was Thank always you. meant to be. And a big shout out to Cronkite. I see that he's still doing some uh, yeah. podcast stuff. Yeah. The Paranormal Trucker. Yeah, I love that name. Yeah. But yeah, I've I was uh, following you on uh, TikTok here, and uh, I've never followed an account that gave me a warning before <laughs> I followed them. I'm like, what? Like, I didn't know I had a warning on TikTok. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, Should be in real life. I, I forget exactly how they worded it, but it's like, oh, this user, something, something, false information. Are you sure you want to follow them? And that's when I'm like, oh, she must be good. If, yeah. they're, if they're trying to, and then, so they banned your other account. Um, so I made a video when we when we came into uh, into town to meet with Goose in the bunker, and just like promoting uh, the Here to Chew Bubblegum podcast, we were literally at an Applebee's, and I, it was just the three of us like doing, and it's still the one is still posted on my other account. Yeah. But they banned it. They took it down for violating guidelines for illegal goods and activities. And then they banned, because I violated guidelines too many times, they've banned my um, whole account until tomorrow at what time? 7? 7, 7.30 something or something? Like yeah, I can't post. I can't comment. I can't go live. I can't do anything. It, this is At this point, we just take bets as to how long it's going to take for either my yeah. live or my videos to go down because it's so common. So the, what, what did it say? Like goods and what? Illegal goods and services it got banned for, which it was literally just the three of us talking about the podcast. Yeah. So TikTok, TikTok hates like me. So, to be fair, yeah. TikTok canceled me, literally canceled me. I can't view it on my phone at all. Whoa. Back His IP address I, got canceled. I was about to ask like how they yeah. went about yeah. doing that. I'm surprised mine's still up. Honestly, we so we did the whole recording yesterday, and I had it streaming live the whole time. I am shocked it didn't go down. Shocked. Well, you know, that that's one thing that I do not agree with whenever it comes to the whole cancel culture perspective is like whether you agree with somebody's ideology or not, you need to have both sides of the spectrum. You want to know what got me banned? Diesels. De what yes. do you mean? Diesels. Diesel engines. How did diesel engines get you banned? Because I know how to make them run much better and faster and have a lot more fun with them and get better economy and they got pissed that i cheated the system so like did they send you a message telling you that why it literally said i've been removed from the platform and i will not be able to log in again whoa yeah that is crazy you know like i said I, it just really is bothering me how they're trying to shut people down because like even I, I watch some of the same people that i'm sure that y'all watch and there's some times that i don't agree with them or i'm like ah that's a little bit crazy, you know, but you need to have both sides of the spectrum. If you can't argue both sides, then your opinion is uneducated. Exactly. And I mean, it. 
it, it just does the the mind good to hear both sides of everything. And it's just really worrying me how people are getting shut down because of this. I mean, he'll send me TikTok videos. And sometimes I'm asleep or busy, and I won't get a chance to view them right away. And by the time uh, I get a chance they're to gone. see them, they're gone. Yeah, yeah me and him were talking yeah. about that just the other day. Yeah. You but know, th- and I told her, you know, I mean, yeah, it's, it's, it's bad that they censored and banned her. But I said, you know, on the other hand, you should be happy because you're right, you're on to something, and if you wouldn't speak in the truth— they wouldn't do that. Yeah, you need yeah. to pay attention to the information that's being removed, and that's really hard to find. And as to go off of your point, like, if you don't agree with something or you have a difference of opinion, first of all, what happened to agree to disagree and just move on? Also, yeah. it's free to scroll. You know what I mean? If you don't yeah. like it, just it takes more energy to comment your hate and to report my account and to try and get my video taken down than just to just scroll on. Yeah, yeah, I, I totally agree. And also, it just totally removes any conversation that you can actually have between one another. Nobody wants to have a another. conversation anymore. Yeah, but I just, I see like somebody that I love watching is Crowder. Like he, he, and he does, he sets up a table and says, ask me anything. And you do, I mean, it's every once in a while you have the crazy person that just goes off the rails. But I think that it's so good that for people to have a conversation or at least even be able to express one another's thoughts about a subject so that you can see both sides. Because there's been plenty of times that some of my buddies that I'm like, man, that's a little bit crazy. And then I start looking into it and I'm like, oh, you might be onto something actually. And I mean, if they were just to shut them down right away, you would never find out about stuff like that. And also, going on to your point about you may be onto something, I mean, you may be. Yeah. Because, I mean, that's for decades now, that's how it's been, is whenever somebody gets shut down or uh, kills themselves or whatever, <laughs> but they know something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, and, and we're at a technology age where it's hard for to shut people up when they're onto yeah. something. You know, and it's hard for them to do. Yeah. You know, so, I mean, yeah, you know, it it was bad that they did that. But on the other hand, you should be happy. Yeah. Because they, you're they, right. You're on to something. They try and shut me down. I just get louder. Yeah. Well, just like the UFO videos, that is a great example of how it's hard to keep stuff quiet nowadays. Mm-hmm. And, and, of course, they still did with the whole Pentagon thing. Nobody was able to sit in on that big meeting that they had with congress or like shocker yeah 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 exactly exactly but still it blows my mind how they still let that jeremy corbell dude let 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 all those videos out not prosecute him and then even say that we don't know what these uaps that's what they're called now these uaps UAPs are unidentified aerial phenomena yes i still like ufo you know, everybody still says they, that. They they changed it. So when when and if they do uh, admit it, they can be like, yep, UAPs exist, you know, because they changed the terminology. Well, yeah. it wouldn't be so they can that. save face a little bit. Yeah, but, but and, and they basically, it, it just blows my mind how they're talking about it right now. Like, this is the first time that I remember in history that UAPs, UFOs, whatever, have been this will have been spoken about this much in mainstream media. And you have all of these government officials coming out and saying, like, yeah, we don't know what these are. They say that. They could know. Who knows? But still, it's weird. Yeah. And and I just wonder, like, why? You know, why? What's their end game for this? I'm ready. Oh, me? Okay. Well, Um, anybody, anybody. (laughs) So my my opinion, my theory is that they're starting, A, they they can't shut us up anymore. Right. Like we're with social media and technology and the cameras and everything like they can't shut us up. The second reason that I think that they're doing this is a distraction. I think that they are putting that stuff there for us to find Mm -hmm. and using it as a distraction to then be able to say that there is going to be some sort of invasion or attack to help push their their agenda, their narrative. Mm. And we talked about it, I think, yeah, maybe on we, the podcast we have. Uh, that will be airing later, uh, Project Bluebeam, mm-hmm. if you're familiar with that. Mm-hmm. It's what on the map. That? What was Project Bluebeam? Uh, it's where the government or the powers that be have the capability to project 
UFOs that are holograms, but they appear to be real over several cities, several places, and people will think that they're real, but they're actually not. And, you know, from that point on, they could uh, play them out as being hostile, mm-hmm. uh, a scare tactic. Coming like out. Mars attacks. But, but, but what do y'all think? They could, how how could that be beneficial to the government for people to go crazy living in fear? Yeah, I well, but even then, I mean, I I, I just still don't because people are already living okay. in fear. Well, yeah, yeah, they are. But if people if more people are so afraid, they can get whatever laws passed that they want to. It's a distraction because nobody's going to step up and say anything. Mm-hmm. What do you think? Like what laws or whatever circumstances come out of this, what do you think that will be? Second Amendment issues. Could oh, very well be. First Amendment. I mean, look at what they're already doing. Yeah, fourth Amendment. But don't you think that that would also, like, that would be the first thing that people do? Like, if I if they were saying, like, alien invasion, I would use up all of my savings to go get whatever type of weaponry oh, I but, could. But, see, people, people are going to realize that, you know, okay, well, if this is such an advanced life form, our guns are probably not just going to bounce off them. So... People are going to not buy the guns. They're going to get scared, and then they're going to rely on the government who's here to help um, to protect us. And mm-hmm. that's going to be them sliding in the back door to take away our rights. Here's my I thing. I get that point. Here's my thing. <clears throat> First, we have to understand that aliens are not what the media projects. They're not little green people running around, okay? Alien is anything that is not of human form, right? Or not of this earth. So, Several different things can fall under the category of an alien, right? Mm -hmm. They've also been here in and out since the beginning, since before the beginning. And if they're going to come back, when they come back, it's going to be to individuals that are open and ready to accept their help and their message. It's not going to be hostile. And they're definitely not going to do a public display to a a world that can't even get over their own race's color. It's not yeah. going to happen. Or which bathroom to use. Yeah, exactly. I, it's see, not going to happen. See, like, I, I've talked with buddies that are like, oh, I mean, we've known about it for decades now. I think that the world is ready to know that aliens mm-hmm. exist. Last year, I mean, people were fighting over toilet paper. Yeah. I mean, no, they're, they're not ready. And, and I wonder if anybody will ever be ready. I mean, like, I, I don't know how, as a government, you would even go about telling people that, yeah, aliens are real. Well, first you would change the terminology, <clears throat> like right. they have from UFOs to UAPs, and uh, you know then you would have uh, the report that they did do to Congress. There's a congressman in Indiana that is trying and has recommended a public hearing on what was discussed behind closed doors. He's pushing for it. I don't know if he'll get it. Yeah, I doubt but it. But he is pushing for that. I mean. It- even like just everything that's came out over the last year or so, however long this has been since all those three videos have gotten so much publicity, it has surprised me that they've talked about it this much to begin with. And I mean, the people that watch these videos, even I'm skeptical because with all the hypersonic technology that they're developing nowadays, I mean, who knows what's possible? Well, and that's what we were talking about um, on one of the podcasts was that um, there's... I said, you know, I, I want to know how big that uh, of, a, of a drone is made now that has, you know, the, the quad props on it or has the ability to pretty much move seamlessly any direction, any which way, mm-hmm. um, because that, you know, can mimic very easily what we think UFOs do. Yeah. And if they're big enough, who knows? Yeah. But, you know, obviously it's not like a Predator drone because, you know, it still flies like a, a conventional airplane, but... These, these little zippy ones, they they could be doing something with those, too. And that's just the ones that they're telling us about. Right. I mean, e- even the Blackbird back <coughs> in the day, they tried to say that, oh, that don't exist. Now it's common knowledge. They still won't even tell you how fast it goes. But even 2, then, 2,792 like, miles an hour. But, but, it, but they, see, like, now that they've put that out, who knows what they're not talking about. Like, I have family. I come from a big uh, military background in my family. And, you know, I have relatives that were talking about some of the technology that we have nowadays. They've seen stuff similar back in the 60s and 70s, you know, and uh, 
now it's 40, 50 years later, and now they're letting us have that and because who knows what they have That's nowadays. another topic we've talked about is, is the whole time frame or timeline of how far behind the people are to their government. Yeah. And, you know, I, I, my best friend has been now in two branches and <clears throat> has only confirmed that we are at least 100 years behind. He's got he, – he's used stuff the last 10 years that we probably won't see for another at least 90 to 100 years. Yeah, and, and that's what that's what makes me so skeptical about those videos. Is of course they're going to say like, "Oh, we don't know what these are. These are not of this earth, or whatever the quotes were." They're saying that so that it people don't know what we have, or they try to. I, I don't. I don't get, get exactly their way of thinking, but that would just it. I want to believe so bad that there's aliens visiting. But and to me, I mean, that's the only two things it can be. Either it's really, 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 really advanced technology that they, that they are working on and they just don't want us to know about for whatever reason, or aliens. I mean, that's the only two things that it can be. Couldn't the aliens be giving them the information for the advanced technology, though? It could be. Because how else like, would they say we lost the technology to do something just like, from 50 years ago? Just like they did with the Nazis, just like they did with the Egyptians, just like they did with all these ancient cultures that have these amazing building capabilities and these technologies that we still today don't even fully understand or know how they did. Yeah, exactly. Well, I mean, there's so much lost history whenever it comes to... There's so much hidden history. Ooh, I like hidden that. History. Hidden history. Let's talk about the Smithsonian. Yeah. How well, much are they hiding? Yeah, exactly. I mean, and, and I mean, really, and, and also a lot of these groups that are in power have been in power and buddy-buddy for hundreds and thousands of of years. I mean, there's a reason that the Bohemian Club is is a thing, and they're, they're in Bohemian Grove. Yeah. And I don't get why people don't talk about that. Because I'm, it's some ritualistic stuff that's sh- shrouded in secrecy. But like, but even then, I mean, like, you can still find so much about it. Like, see, whenever it comes to these UFOs and other conspiracy theories, like, it, it's a guessing game to whether or not. It's real, even Bigfoot and so on. But whenever it comes to Bohemian Grove, shout out to Alex Jones. I know that that dude, I don't agree with everything, and I know that he does get stuff wrong, but sometimes he gets stuff right. And he went in there with an actual Mm -hmm. video camera and recorded everything. What do they call the big ritual? The Where they're talking about the owl. Yeah. They, they uh, burn the owl and stuff. I forget the name of that ritual. But he went in there and actually <coughs> recorded that. And you know that the people that go to this event are some of the people in the highest powers yeah. of government. Former presidents if, and well, CEOs former, former and oil presidents, executives. Future presidents, yeah. too. I mean, uh, even Richard Nixon said that the one thing that got him into office was his speech at the at Bohemian Grove. So, I mean, you know that they're going there for two weeks and planning out <laughs> how the world works, but also just doing some very weir- weird stuff. Cremation of care. That's the name of the the ritual. But I mean, and for the people that don't know what we're talking about, and you can find all of this on the internet. Like, this is these are proven facts that this thing happens. They burn a a thing like a thing of sticks that looks like a human effigy or something like that. Supposedly, I mean, who knows? A small, small human effigy. Yeah, and they burn it in front of this forty foot tall owl. What do they call the owl? Alex, help me out down there, buddy. I yeah. need your help. But uh, the, Moloch, Moloch the Owl God. And uh, that, that goes back thousands of years into uh, very weird ritual uh, ceremonies and groups. But they burn it right, they do the cremation of care in front of this huge Moloch the Owl God stone owl. They're all dressed up in these cape, They because they want to uh, portray themselves as druids, yes. I, th- I think it is. And you have people that are going to be presidents that's doing this type of weird stuff. And it just, I don't get why nobody talks about that. They're scared. That's that's one thing that's, I feel like that's one of those things where it's just so much that you, you wouldn't know how to act or feel with that information. There's, there's also a, a huge part of all of that rabbit hole that gets very dark and very heavy. And once you know... You can't. You unknown. can't unknow, and it changes you as a person. Yeah, and uh, and a lot of people are not ready to to see it, well, which is fine. That's that's part of their <clears> path. <throat> that's their that's their journey. That's their that's their choice. But 
Yeah. Uh, Alex said they've been doing it since 1881, and that's just what they yeah. tell us about it. There's, there's also been like uh, different uh, side groups of the same Bohemian Grove that have done it in other countries for thousands of years before that. And, but I, I do think, like, to your point, people want to be ignorant. That, that, Ignorance is bliss. Yeah. I mean, it's it's so nice just not knowing or not caring about what goes on behind closed doors. What? So what keeps y'all pushing? Because, like, when, like in my own opinion, you know, I, I see a lot of this as a losing battle because and I, I just think that the powers that be are so powerful that they're going to win. So what, like, what keeps y'all going? Well, I mean, do you want to answer that? <coughs> I do. I'm like jumping out of my seat okay. over here. So, I mean, this all this all kind of ties back into um, the Great Awakening map, which I know is something that you wanted to touch on. And and the end goal is return to source and lead with love and light. And and that's that's really the thing here. And the other thing that I want to speak on to your point and kind of what you just said, mm-hmm. the universe always says yes, right? So if you if you speak that into existence, then it's going to happen. If you keep saying that, oh my gosh, these powers are these powers to be, these people have all this power, then then yes. But if we collectively come together, put aside our differences and the stuff that we don't agree with mm-hmm. and come together as one and just understand that we're all on our own journey and we're all our own energies experiencing this that it removes their power. They no longer Mm. have it because we're not going to allow them to keep it. It's our power. It's our path. It's our journey. So I think that once we start speaking positively, not only to ourselves, but to others and just leading with love and light, that they're going to lose it. They're going to understand that they they have no control over what we do. But are y'all terrified of that happening? Because I am. I I think that if the powers that be do lose their power, you're going to have society collapse i don't think so the purge so that's what i think could i think that that is a realistic result if something like a great awakening does happen so the great awakening has already started well i'm I'm, I'm talking about like like, just like the end goal of it i don't see people living in harmony if society collapses but I think one of the things to understand is that it's not a flip of the switch. It, this happens over like 10 years. It's going to be a gradual shift over. So I think what you're thinking is they're going to like shut down the doors, society's done, and we're going to have this like anarchy mayhem. That's I don't think that's what's going to happen. It's going to be a gradual. I mean, look at the shift that's already happened. Yeah. Look at how many people are are, are talking about you know, the, their spiritual awakening or, you know, being aware of all this information and starting to do their own research and have these conversations. I mean, I was not here a year ago. No, yeah. but do you think that you have to have almost, you almost have to have evil people for a society like we have Of course to exist. you do. The light was created out of darkness. You have to have duality. You have to understand the darkness in order to find the light. So that that's what I'm saying. Like is, do you think that that's, it's ever going to happen if you have to have both sides. So you know what the yin yang is, right? Yeah. <clears throat> so if you if you look at it, I actually just I had this like download thought the other day on a live when I was talking about this is so you have duality, right? You have the yin yang, you have the dark and the light. Now, not all darkness means bad and not all light means good. And it's constantly unfolding like the flower of life, like sacred geometry. It's constantly multiplying on itself and constantly unfolding. So if you take, let's take the dark side of the yin yang. Okay, let's take the the black side of it, right? Because then you have the white side. Mm -hmm. That also unfolds into its own section of dark and light. And then that unfolds into its own section of dark and light. And it just keeps going. Hmm. Yeah, well, then, like, isn't there that theory, too, that, like, the whole universe is based on mathematics, and that could also lead us to living in a, uh, what do they call it, the uh, a virtual reality, almost, because everything is mathematics, like, we're living like in a big computer. Simulation. Simulation so, theory, that's it, yeah, yeah, yeah. We actually talked about that a little yeah, bit. We yeah, we did. We did. We did. So, I, if you break down sacred geometry, right, so let's let's talk about that for a second. So, you're talking about the math side of it. So which came first, the chicken or the egg? 
See, I'm just not smart. I the suck butcher. at let me, mathematics. Let me, it so doesn't not, have anything to do with math. <laughs> That's the same I, thing. I I, I've just, re- I've re- I'm man, math. man, I've really looked into the simulation theory, and it just really blows my mind whenever they start trying to explain it. Yeah. And I'm just like, I suck well, at math. Well, and, you know, like I told them uh, yesterday when we were talking about it on the show, when we were doing some recording, I said, you know, I would like to think that I'm self-aware and I know myself good enough that I was just going to in a simulation, I would realize it. I would know it. But who knows, though? Here's sacred geometry. There's all of it. In math and architecture and art and nature, there's all of it. (laughs) 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 It's everywhere. See, and that's what I'm saying. And it it is so beautiful, too. And it all breaks down to the golden ratio, which is that spiral. Which golden ratio? Which, Which is it? Well, all of it. That's all the I'll sh- I'll show you the actual okay. math the, so the the mathematical equation for the golden ratio is this. Okay, I've seen that before. Right, yeah, exa- okay. the Fibonacci code. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. Snail shells. And then so that Ooh, it all does like snail shell. breaks down into like the flower of life and into the energy fields and the way that things are created out of the seed of life. I'm just trying to find I'm trying to find my. Uh... Well, she's looking at that, looking at it to answer your question earlier. Uh, Thanks. She's she good. Got it, she got it. Pulled it up. also she's goes good. into as above, so below, oh. as within, so without, as the universe, so in self. The macro affects the micro. It's all connected. I, I do. I do love this idea because it is a beautiful thing that everything is created. I just don't know if we're going to have a smart enough society to realize that because there's still so much bigotry and hate in the world that an idea like that for right now at least is just so far fetched to me maybe maybe in thousands of years not everyone hopefully. is going to be awakened yeah not everyone's going to go through that only 60% that's what they say okay so the, this great awakening how did all of this come about cuz like which I, part well like well just, We'll start with the map. Like okay. I, so, wait, the, so what, was the Great Awakening around before? Well, I know it's around before the map, but how did this map come about? So um, the map was created by an artist, um, and I'm not I'm not going to say his name because I don't know. He's His name is actually kept kind of private on stuff, so I'm not going to speak his name. Um, but you can find him on uh, Instagram under the 5D Awakening Consciousness is his uh, screen name. But... This map that he created, the the awakening is not going to be televised. The revolution is not going to be broadcasted. It's going to be talked about like this. It's going to be people sharing memes and exposing little truths here and there. So what he wanted to do was create the biggest meme that had all of the answers and all of the rabbit holes and all of the things on it. Okay, and he did that. So this map actually came out in 2018. Mm -hmm. is when he dropped the original one and it was over 12 years of his own research of metaphysical research of scientific research that he compiled and put all of this together Um, he uh, studied a whole bunch of things mostly um, art which is how he was able to like understand most of this he has done several kundalini awakenings he's done like very intense uh, meditation. He's done like the complete darkness with the DMT. He mm-hmm. has gone to Thailand and studied under, you know, Tibetan monks. And he has done all of these amazing things in order to get this information and put it all out there for us to put the pieces together because doing the research and finding the connections and talking about it is part of the process. This is part of it. I I can explain it until I'm blue in the face. I can't understand it for you, though. That's on you. You got to do it yourself. See, that's the thing that, like, really just, whenever whenever he showed me the map, I was like, whoa. <laughs> like, I just, I don't know where to begin. Excellent question. I'm so glad you asked. So. She was the same way. Yeah. yeah I, oh, yeah. I'm not, I'm not, oh, yeah. There, <laughs> trust me. We all have to start somewhere, right? Even the professionals were once beginners. Yes. So how I recommend people first look at this and you can get free downloads of this on the site. You don't actually have to buy one. But if you read the very bottom line, do you want me to read it out loud? Okay. So the very bottom line of the map. um, 
Excuse is escape the matrix, right? Yeah. Red pill the masses. So that's where your fake news media, your false flags, 9-11, Federal Reserve, big banks, big pharma, vaccines, GMO, fluoride, chemtrails, the Gwen Towers, FEMA, Fukushima, Hollywood Occult, the educational indoctrination, which I usually struggle with that word, taxes, globalism, the new world order, smart meters, 5G, oil, war on drugs, EMF pollution, crisis actors, open border, maritime law and social security numbers. Okay, so that's kind of like all of your like recent current history and all of the things that are fabricated and kind of lied to us about. Then my next suggestion is to read the very top line of the map. It's very small print, but it's a quote from Ra, which is the law of one. It's a five book conversation set, which I highly recommend either getting the book or doing the, um, the like the audio on, you can listen to it. Mm -hmm. But it says, increase your service to others and be more loving to yourself and everyone in order to raise your vibrational consciousness level. Forgive yourself and others, thus releasing karma. This will change the vibration of the planet, raise the shared consciousness of humanity, and change humankind one person at a time. Treat your body as a temple and change over to a higher vibrational diet to aid in the process. <laughs> and then what I suggest is you just kind of just go where your eye takes you. Look for things that you know about or that interest you and start researching them. The other important thing that I tell people is everything on this map is placed for a reason. Things are next to each other for a purpose. Things are bolded. Things are pure multiple times for a reason. Pay attention mm. to that. So like if you want to look at like Antarctica, for instance, which fascinates me, right? So all of the things around and within that little Antarctica thing are very important. All of the things surrounding the Antarctica outline are related to that. And then it all connects from there. Because if you look, it, it's all kind of circled and circles within circles. And it's yeah. all kind of grouped together, but then it's all linked together as well. Yeah. And there's some like there's some arrows and like connections to stuff to kind of group things together. But you'll be able to find the connections on your own. Once you start researching it, you're going to see the things that are surrounding the word that you're researching are also popping up in your research. So you're mm -hmm. going to naturally be drawn that direction. And there's one other important thing that Goose found out the hard way. Set a time limit. Oh, yeah. I <laughs> highly recommend it. When you yeah, well, first start well, on this, well, like, set a time limit. <laughs> I mean, you know, hours and you hours. You get lost. Just, just looking at it and taking notes. And, you know, for anyone that, that does check out the map, when you start doing your own research, don't use Google. Use DuckDuckGo. Yeah, because download you the app on your get smartphone. get more information on what you're searching on DuckDuckGo. The other um, piece of advice that I've I've learned that I give people who who want to research this is like let's let's pick a let's pick a word here let's pick let's pick Antarctica for instance mm -hmm. so if you if you go, I've, I'm calling it goose it did you goose it right instead of Google did you goose it right because duck duck that. goose you need to start duck, that. Duck, we've tried we did yeah, yeah we, we have are. we already started it it's already a thing oh for real yeah, yeah. 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 we're talking about it right now are we we're speaking it into existence it, I was about to top it into the URL I was about to say dang that's cool <laughs> no like did you goose it like that's the th like because. Who uses Google anymore? Anyway, so like you type in Antarctica into DuckDuckGo, right? You goose Antarctica. Okay, now type in Antarctica Awakening. And it's going to pop up a whole nother slew of searches. So search what you want to search and then mm -hmm. type in Awakening after it. And it's going to help you make those connections better. It's going to kind of tie it in for mm -hmm. you. So when is this Great Awakening supposed to take so place? So if you look at the optimal timeline, which is also a free download on the site, it's, it's over... It's over like a 10 year thing. So after 2030, which is what it says on here, is when like the actual like solar flash and, and the ascension into 5D is gonna happen. But it takes it takes a while to get everybody there. There's a popular website we have that has uh, all that information on. Which is, what's the website? Well, I can't say it because it's, I, do you want me to spell it? Yeah, spell it. It's, <laughs> I N G E R S O L L L O C K W O O D dot com. Oh, I was going with a different website, but okay. Ingersoll Law. Oh, oh okay. I was going to say so. my website, but that's fine. We can oh, talk no. about your stuff. Well, I, I brought up yesterday uh, for the, the one podcast the, the equations I found for him, and uh, that April 10th of last year was the start of it. And by April 10th, 2024, if you haven't started that process, you're not going to. So for the optimal reality timeline, you want to read it from the bottom up and kind of like in sections. So like it's like steps from the bottom up. 
But what gives this the guy that created all of this credibility to what he's saying? Once you start researching it, you'll know. And he got all of this information through like meditating and through his own research. Um, his own research, his, travels and studies. Yeah. And 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 downloads. I mean, and meditation. You once you start like connecting to source, whatever whatever you want to call that source. Once you start connecting to that, once you start raising your vibration, once you start removing all of the pollution in your life and start opening up your pineal gland and getting in touch not only with yourself and understanding that you need to love yourself in order to love others, things just start happening and coming to you. The synchronicities, the messages, the 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 coincidences, right? That aren't mm. coincidences. Like you you just start to understand everything better and see you you you're able to see the connections. You're able to see the truth. What is the great solar flash going to be? Um, well, it's currently happening. Um, I don't know if you pay attention to like the Schumann resonance or anything like no. that. Do you know what that is? No. So the Schumann, the Schumann resonance is so okay. Uh, let me back up. Um, Earth is a living, breathing organism, right? We can agree on that. It hosts life. Mm -hmm. It has its own consciousness. So it has a heartbeat. Yeah. So the, so the Schumann resonance is the Earth's heartbeat. And it usually like vibrates and, and sits at, what was it, like between like five and seven, whatever it is that they measure it. If you look at it now, I actually um, just so happen to have a picture of it right here for you. Um, it gets these huge spikes in it. Do you see mm -hmm. the spikes? Like you don't even have to know what you're looking at just to see the spikes. Mm -hmm. um, so the way that I interpret the, the solar flash happening is like contractions. Because if you think about it, the earth is going to be giving birth to, to a new earth, to a new world, to a new understanding. So it's going to happen in these spurts and they're gonna get stronger and more powerful and they're gonna get more frequent until the, the great solar flash happens that finally births 5D. What is 5D? The, um, like the fifth, the fifth density. So like we're in, we're in 3D right now. And then 4D is the bridge to 5D, which is also explains and ties into the Mandela effect, <clears throat> right? So as you like ascend and travel and get more in touch with source and start to understand the truth behind things and start to break out of the matrix, you travel across this, this 4D bridge for lack of a better word. And that's when your 3D reality starts to crumble, which creates the Mandela effects. Hmm. How could it be possible <laughs> to live in a 5D world, though? Like, so, I mean, are you talking about, OK, let's say that somebody does DMT or something like mm -hmm. that, and, and they're in that other realm that many people talk about. Would mm -hmm. that be an mm -hmm. example of 5D? Yeah. So once you get into other other densities and other dimensions or reality, I mean, whatever you want to label it as to help you understand it, um, you also have to have to kind of wrap your head around the fact that in those other realities and those other dimensions, the same laws of like physics and stuff like that that we have here don't apply like they have their own set of law. So it's not going to be the same. Like if you you think about like aliens or other outer worldly sources, like they are able to do all of these other things, right? That we can't do. We can't fly. We can't have, we don't have telekinesis. We don't have levitation abilities. They do. Their world mm -hmm. is different. Let's break it down. Let's break it down a little simpler. Let's look at the ocean. So if you go into the ocean, you give up your ability to breathe, but you gain the ability to fly in that world. Hmm. I like that. It's just so much. Blowing his mind. <laughs> yes, yes, you are. I mean, and, and you can see when I stumbled across her on TikTok, and then I realized what the map was, and I started. I'm like, we've talked about some of this stuff on the show. We've talked about some of this stuff on the show, and I was doing research, and I'm like, I didn't have this information when I talked about this the first time, you know. And it yeah. was just like a huge awakening for me to, no you know, pun intended, to see this, you know, in print stuff that you know we talked about on the show and then to have her talking about stuff that i talked about on the show and, <laughs> and some stuff i didn't really understand but she would talk about it i mean it was like synchronicity in some of her videos she would talk about it and it's like you know a light bulb went off yeah you know? these perfect and these people just, are perfect for yeah, your show definitely definitely <laughs> 
Who? Uh, who? Us? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, but see, I just, that's why this map, it bothers me so bad because, like, I just don't know where to begin, what's important, what to look out for. And also, I just don't, well, I, yeah. I don't, I don't get, like, exactly what to get out of it. You get out of it exactly what you're supposed to get out of it. And you're not going to see or understand things until you're ready to see and understand them. I'll tell you what, when I first got that map and I was looking at it and I was researching stuff, it looks completely different to me now. Because I, I just, I don't, well, I don't know where to begin. I don't know what information. Well, you start at the bottom in, line and then you read the top line and then you just, you tools. and then you just kind of go. I, I recommend though, um, if you're going to buy one, get like little like flagged sticky notes like I have little markers all over mine it helps but but I just feel like you ever see that thing of always sunny in Philadelphia where Charlie is pulling out his hair and he has all this yeah, that's, right. yeah. that, that's what I feel like whenever I'm looking at something like this because it just my mind scrambles so much and I don't so it's here, in, information okay overload okay, how, how me, many points do you say was on this so like, there's over oh. 800 so there's another there's another download that looks like this <laughs> this kind of sections it out for you, yeah, and it kind of breaks it down a little bit easier, which I think that it's important to look at both of them because it, it does separate it out, and it's not as much at once. And then you can kind of use that one. Does it start one. at the bottom and goes to the top? Yes. Okay. You know, I mean, and for me, when I first looked at it, at the one you get on the screen, I was drawn to the Secret Space Program. Mm -hmm. And so just been doing research on the Secret Space Program and then researching some of the stuff around it. I mean, it was like, you know, it was like stuff I'd never seen before. It's my mom. Yeah, you know. yeah I, I also like how they have the uh, SS and Secret yeah, Space yeah. Program. Nice little touch on the so, artist there. Yeah. The mystery of universal creation is mm -hmm. where it ends. See, to me, that sounds like the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. So, so you got to change the way that you talk. Right, you have to speak positively. So it's not, I don't understand this. I just because don't then, see this going good, though. See, but then it's not. <laughs> I just, so, you're, so you're speaking that into existence. I mean, like, I think it'll go good for uh, to us that, you know, just uh, have a spiritual mindset. But as for the entire earth and how... It's not supposed to. Most people think, yeah, I just, I wonder what's, what happens to them, you know? They stay in 3D. The, the Earth is literally going to be split into two. There is going to be a new Earth. I know I sound crazy. I, I but, understand but, that I'm crazy. I but, get diagnosed on TikTok all the time. I get it. <laughs> but, okay, so, so whenever it comes to the two Earths, I mean, what, what do you, how, is that, how is something like that supposed to happen? Through energy, through speaking it into existence. But... That would be a cosmic explosion that would kill no. a lot of okay. people. Three. You're fine. You're fine. So it's going to like it's going to basically like it's going to split. There's going to be a duality. It's not going to be all mixed together. It's a going, reality split yes. instead of an actual Earth split. It's, oh, okay. okay. Maybe I should have rephrased yeah. that. It's not astral, going to be an actual Earth. Astral projection. Yeah, it's not split. going to be an actual Earth that's like formed. Hmm. Do you think that the technology that they're working on now could make a 5D realm possible with the Neuralink and stuff like that? I think that. we've had that technology for quite a while. You know, me yeah. personally. I mean, the Giza pyramids were for zero-point energy. Yeah, The Egyptians had it all figured out. And there's pyramids all over the world. There's pyramids mm -hmm. on Mars. There are. And they all line up with Orion's belt. And um, the Golden Ratio. Yeah. But the... Um, there's some in Colorado, there's some in Nevada, there's some all over yeah, Mexico. I was about to say, there's a lot there's in also America as well. in Antarctica, they're in the ocean, they're on Mars. Hopefully you can see why I'm taken back by this and, I think and blown away. I do like you this know. map a lot more, though, because <laughs> I, this makes it so much easier to try to understand. So do you know, the picture that you were referring to, the, the meme right, with, with Charlie from... Uh, Always sunny in Philadelphia, where he's got like all of the strings everywhere, and he's like, you know, the, yeah. the meme is like, check on your conspiracy theorist friends because they're not okay right now. <laughs> yeah. So the the other map, the confusing one that you don't like to look at, mm -hmm. um, it already connected it <laughs> really all for don't. you. It's already all connected. Yeah, well, but this um, isn't this connected as well though. Like this is the way that it's supposed to go. Well, it's supposed to go the way that it's supposed to go. For me, you know, like <laughs> but, I said, I was drawn to the secret space program. And I, I mean, just looking at that map, I've spent about 
several hours just looking at it. Days. You know, well. <laughs> maybe, hours hours over days. Yeah. But, you know, and it's like I find something new on it. And it's like the, the one that's on your screen versus the one you've got in your iPad. I've looked at both of them. Mm-hmm. I like the one that's on your screen better. Because, to me, it's like a section that I'm drawn to, if yeah. that makes sense. But, see, I, I just don't want to be drawn to sections. Like, I, I want to know the actual layout about how it's supposed right. to go. Oh, but, well, that's, but as the, you, as that's you, the optimal timeline reality. As you research all those subjects, all you end up branching off before you know it. You're you're on the opposite corner of that map. Yeah. But then you'll come back to a point where it will all click. So, oh. th- so this isn't exactly how it's supposed to go, is it? I, yeah. I, like if you well, start at the bottom, it, more like you, guidelines. <laughs> it, it goes based on your your own your own path and your own awakening, and everybody is at a different point in that. And as you open your eyes to all of the things that are happening, and you start to dig for the truth, and you start to understand certain things, there's rose-colored glasses that get taken off there's veils that get lifted and more information is presented to you and you start to see things differently Hmm. your attitude towards life changes your diet changes your perception changes the way that you talk to yourself and others changes it it is a beautiful thing because I, i have tried to make a lot of those same changes in my life and it is it is very 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 beneficial but whenever it comes to stuff like for example, on here, ah, you know, well, the pizza gate and stuff like that, and all of these uh, things that we may not be able to get all of the information on. Um, I, I, I don't, I don't know, like the stuff, the stuff that they really hide from us. Uh, like I, I don't know how we're supposed to go about. So there's the information a link, they can keep from there's us. There's a link on my link tree um, that has a caution symbol <laughs> next to it that will answer all of those questions for you. Proceed with caution, because once you look into that, you can't unlook into that. Yeah. Well, but like I said, you have to go through the darkness in order to understand the light. Light was created out of darkness. Without darkness, there is no light. Do y'all think that it's mainly like dark powers that control this earth, though? They think they do. That's why they. That's why they're doing all of the all of this is to try and keep their control because they are losing it. Look at how desperate they are. It's true. See, that's why I love stuff like this, because whenever I was younger or in college or whatever, I would talk about some of these same things and people would look at me like I was crazy, you know. And nowadays, the conspiracy theorist ain't they're not looking no. so we just, crazy. We no. just traded our tinfoil hats into crowns of knowledge. It's fine. Yeah. But you, well, you, so there's a line right on the outside of the arc on the bottom and it says everything that you've learned in school is wrong. And then also at the bottom line, it's the indoctrination, uh, the educational indoctrination. So once you can separate that, everything that they taught you in school about everything is not necessarily false, but not the whole truth or manipulated into some way to push something else. Like once you can separate that out and basically relearn everything, so many more things make sense. And you get what she's saying there. Like, you know, when you were in grade school, some of the history books, Mm -hmm. like something you learned early on. And then when you got older, you might have learned something else that it didn't teach you in that particular grade. There's more to the picture. Yeah. Everybody has to have their own moments. And uh, Mike Rowe talked about this. And um, Dirty Dan actually sent me this video. uh, And it was uh, Mike Rowe talking about his very first shoot and his basically the the moment that he he realized and and started his his journey and his his awakening and an awakening doesn't always have to be spiritual like it's just basically opening your mind up and and being more open to different information and understanding both sides and you have to and he brought it back to this point of these two words they're two greek words and it's anaagnorisis and peripatia and what that is, is it's a moment that you have to have for yourself. Nobody else can have it for you. It's a, it's, an, it's a turning point. It's a moment where you realize, oh, my Lord, I am wrong on this, right? Like as a child, you thought that chocolate milk came from brown cows. And it wasn't until you got older and had a moment of anaagnorisis that you realized that, ooh, chocolate milk is made and it doesn't come from brown cows. And the moment that he was talking about is how OSHA 
told them that they had to castrate these sheep versus how the old time like farm farmers did it. Not not OSHA, SPCA. I'm sorry. Uh, the SPCA. I, why did I say OSHA? I have no idea. <laughs> wow. Okay. Sorry. Um, that they, uh, the, the SPCA said to band them and do it, you know, the humane way. They actually suffered longer than when they the old farmer for, for six just eight hours. sliced them off and cauterized it with a hot knife. They were fine in 10 minutes. Whereas mm. the, the right way, the way that you were supposed to do it, actually kept them in pain for days. So that was his moment of anaagnorisis and peripatia, his, his moment of changing based on new knowledge that was brought to his attention. And you have to have that for yourself. That's why the research is part of the process. That's why going through all of these things and having these conversations is part of the process. And um, I've, I've created the flock. I don't. I don't like the word followers. It implies I'm a leader. I'm not a leader. I don't. I don't like I was, that. I was going so, to ask why you used flock. Yeah. I so it also ties in, and the reason it's flamingos is a flock of flamingos is called a stand, which is very mm. fitting. And I'm actually going to, uh, if you don't mind, I'll read you um, what I wrote on my uh, the story of of flamingos. If you if you want. Yeah. Yeah. And she also thinks that Elvis is alive. We disagree on that. We yeah. disagree on a lot of things. So that's fine. I still love you. And, 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 so, and that's that's a beautiful thing that you can agree and still have a conversation yeah. about it. Yeah. I, I got to agree with you on that one, though. Yeah. So. <laughs> we won't get into that one, though. So. I, I mean, Tupac may still be alive. Who knows? Like, I, I'd, lo- I'd love Possibly. to think that. I mean, Possibly. I'd love to have another album. But it, but Elvis was also kind of a. Yeah, we well, won't just, get we won't get into the history just, of Elvis. I'm quick, not going to ruin she's, Elvis for anybody. She's looking that up. Uh, What's your take on uh, John McAfee? You think he's alive? Ain't yeah. that crazy? <laughs> Why is nobody talking about that dude? Oh, everybody's talking about well, it. Well, but like you don't see it like I don't see it anywhere. Like whenever it comes to mainstream news uh, or just social media in general, I mean, on uh, yeah. Well, I mean, he's whenever okay. Whenever Epstein killed himself, mm. that Anthony was Bourdain. everybody. Even Anthony Bourdain. Everybody was talking about it. You know, I mean, I, I knew people that weren't even into that type of stuff that were still talking about it. The Jeffrey Epstein especially was so well documented that everybody was talking about it. John McAfee, you heard it for a little bit there, but maybe a week or two, you know, and just everybody seemed to forget about it like that. Shout out to Adult Swim. It'll it'll circle back. I hope so. But I mean, like... I just wish that it was ju- just as documented as the Epstein thing was. Because a shout out to Adult Swim. If anybody wants to see a very compelling, weird interview with John McAfee, Adult Swim of all people done one, and he talked about how uh, he donated all of these computers to the government at the time with mm-hmm. the McAfee software on it. And he found out, I forget exactly which government officials were which, but one was the biggest drug trafficker, I think in South America, he said, mm-hmm. and the other one was the biggest uh, uh, human trafficker. So, and, and I forget the government officials that right. he said that. And even Adult Swim said, like, well, we don't want to get killed, so we're probably not going to air that. And he said, okay, that's fine. But for some reason, they still put it in there. And, you know, it's, it's just very weird. And also, I mean, the guy had whacked, what, whacked tattooed. And, A month and, ago. And I know that that has, like, something to do with uh, his cryptocurrency thing that, whatever the right. whacked thing was but it was also to say that hey if i was to ever kill myself this shows that i didn't do it i mean like well he straight up said that when he got the tattoo yeah and, but it's it's so fascinating and why that more people are not talking about it blows my mind oh yeah We've we've been talking about John McAfee. Oh, yeah. We've been talking about that for the last day and a half. And and I'm just saying, like, like the whole Epstein thing was so well documented that everybody was talking about it. Even to this day, people are still talking about it. But John McAfee, you heard it for like a week or two. You know when it all started? It all fell off. In 2016 with a gorilla named Harambe. (laughs) Yep. Yep. That's that's when everything went sideways. So so what's going on with the uh, – how do you say your name? 
Gistel? Giselle? G- what? Isn't it Giselle? Giselle? Who are you talking about? The, the, the Maxwell woman. Giselle and Max, Max. Oh, okay. Ma- Maxine. Yeah. Ma- Maxine. Yeah. How Maxwell. do you say? Max- is, I thought it was Maxwell. Yeah. The woman that was connected with Epstein yeah. that for she's, some reason she still got hasn't denied. been tried yet. Well, she's, she's still in jail. Yeah, but like they don't they have a trial coming up soon? Or like, what's, I just, what's going on with that woman? Push back. She's still in yeah. jail. They're, they were trying to get her out. And yeah, they kept denying her parole. So. Yeah. So, I mean, like, I, I just wonder what's going to come about that, if anything. I mean, like, that, to me, the Epstein thing and the UFO videos that just got released, like, that's the big ones to me that, like, to everybody that's ever doubted a lot of stuff that can be, <clears throat> excuse me, that can be seen on this Great Awakening map. Those two instances right there were like, ah, uh, we told you so. We got it. Right. We got it. Like that, to me, that was just the big wins for crazy conspiracy theorists like us. You got to spend some time on Google Maps looking at Antarctica then. Well, I, I've looked into the inner Earth theory and all that. What was the uh, the the pilot back in Robert the Admiral Bird, Admiral Bird, the one that supposedly flew well, into it, Robert Bird, uh, yeah. yeah, Admiral. Yeah, and, and I mean, like, but that guy, I mean, like afterwards, like he, that was a very, very uh, decorated yes. uh, man in the military yeah. after he said that he went into that. And for some reason, nobody really talks about that either. No, no, nobody talks about the fact. And, you know, briefly that, you know, when he got older, the government referred to him as a senile old man. Mm-hmm. And his son years later was going to go speak at a at a college at a you know some, some kind of event and he was going to set the record straight mm-hmm. uh, about his dad and talk about his dad's diary and what he'd actually wrote in his diary about going to Antarctica and his son didn't make it to that the, to that uh, particular event and his body was found in a warehouse mm-hmm. several days later yeah so see th- that that's why like it, it it's it's so uh discouraging it's okay. <laughs> it, it, that's to me. It's it's discouraging whenever it comes to things like this because I just think that if they want to shut you up, they're going to shut you up. Yeah. And, and and I and I know that. I mean, we may be able to win in the long scheme of things, but for right now, it's just a very hard battle to fight. I mean, I thought whenever we had Epstein, I'm like, that's it. All of these terrible government officials and i know that not not the entire government right. isn't bad i'm this that's I mean, ah because there's duality yeah exactly there's, yeah. Du- there's duality in everything you know that's why i still back the blue because not all cops are bad but you do have bad apples in everything yep. i've met bad cashiers you know i've also met great ones but anyways <laughs> when it, like whenever it comes to these the these terrible government officials who do these terrible things and we're paying their salaries, you know. I thought that we have them, you know, like they're all going to be outed. But still, you I mean, they had the flat log and everything to that weird island of his. Yeah. And still, still, they he killed himself. Allegedly. Like, allegedly, yeah. And, and nothing ever came about it. And it just broke my heart because, like, the battle that I thought we were going to win, we lost just like that. Have you looked into Gitmo? Mm-mm. What's Gitmo? Guantanamo Bay. I know about Guantanamo Bay, but like, what about Guantanamo Bay? Is your phone okay? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah no crack good. screen. No, cool. it's good. Cool. Um, well, from 2016 to 2019, it has quadrupled in size. Probably not for no reason. I didn't even know if people were still staying there. What do they... Who stays in Guantanamo Bay? Well, that's probably a subject for another day, because that's <laughs> going to get real dark Hel- real quick. Held and Kumar did. Yeah, that was a great <laughs> movie. Also met George W. Bush. <laughs> that's a good movie. But anyway, what I wanted to say before... Wait, um, no, no, I want to get into this. Like, Oh, we c- don't have enough time to get into that. <sighs> but, I, but I mean, like, is it just criminals? I mean, like, who... I, you never hear anything about Guantanamo Bay anymore. I, and also, I will, like, what, like, what's the Guantanamo Bays or the Area 51s that they're not telling us about? You know, to, to me, that's why I think that they give a place so much publicity is to hide <laughs> another one. Yeah, that's how a about, false flag. How, exactly. about, how about I make yeah. you this deal? How about I send you some links to look at, and then we can schedule another time to talk about those? We'll definitely need to do okay. this. Okay, 
But what I want to say um, real quick back to um, the flock and the flamingos is a flamingo, a flock of flamingos is a stand and flamingos signify like like what they represent is honesty and truth and going after life with a unique gusto and creating a community and building relationships and bonds is actually what flamingos represent. Um, And I have created Telegram, which is like a, a chat you app. Didn't create the app. I didn't create the app, but I created the group in within the app of Telegram. And all of my content on TikTok is split up by topics. So there's 12 different groups. We go over the Great Awakening map. We go over the darker side of the Great Awakening map. We go over spirituality. We talk about the animals. We have car talk. We have like memes. And basically there's, so I between my two TikTok accounts, and then from there, they, they come to Telegram to have open conversations because it's not censored. They can't shut it down. Um, I've also uh, purchased a Zoom license. So we do weekly Zoom meetings and we all come together and have conversations and raise our vibration together. And it's all open minded. There's no hate allowed. Um, Everybody is allowed to have their own opinion and we all respect each other for exactly what we are and the point in our journey that we're at. And even if we agree to disagree, we we still all communicate with each other. Um, there's over 1,500 people in the Telegram right now, and between the the two TikTok accounts, there's over 110,000 flockers. That's crazy. And, and but I think that it's a beautiful thing because I, will, I like I said I do stand up comedy. So one of my favorite comedians of all time, George Carlin, mm. how, how he said question everything. everything. Yep. And I think that people need to do that. I mean, like it's it's a really it messes up your mind. Because whenever I started questioning everything, I felt like my entire life was a lie. Oh, it you is. Know, and, and it is. It is in, in the grand scheme of things. And that can really mess somebody up psychologically. But but once you get through all of that, which it is a very dark time, mm-hmm. but once you get through all of that, I do think that I don't know if you're necessarily better off on the other side, but it's interesting if you have a mind like that. So I'm somebody that loves to think. Well, and that's why I like this map right here. <laughs> I, I love stuff like this. It blows my mind, but I'm definitely going to be looking into this. Well, what's nice about Telegram is we can all share links and photos and have conversations with each other. So it's it's all of us like interacting and questioning one another and sharing research and, oh, look at what I found on this. And then somebody will say, well, that's interesting. So so what do you think about this? And we just we have all of these conversations. I mean, I can't go more than like six hours without 87 notifications from Telegram. I mean, it's it's a lot, but oh. it's so good because, you know, we find new flockers or, you know, people like you that are just becoming aware of this and just starting their research journey. And we have a place for you. We can help you. We can kind of guide you through this. And you have a safe place to communicate about it where you're not going to get canceled. You're not going to get judged. You're not going to get shut mm-hmm. down. You're going to be heard and you're going to be respected. So the the website you were telling me about, the DuckDuckGo, mm-hmm. is that like some of the one of the best places to look into all of this? Because, yeah. because I'm also like very skeptic about the information that you get off um, of sources because i mean they can put those out there yes, to yes, d- deter people but uh duck, duck go is a search engine similar to google but it's not restricted like google it's is. not censored if you look up the same thing on google and then look it up on duck, duck go you will get two very different searches like if you try and search my name on google i don't come up if you search me on duck, duck go i'm the first listing hmm I love how people are doing stuff like that. I just wonder how long until they shut down DuckDuckGo. Is that possible? Can they, they, There's well, yeah, a rumor possible. that they sold out to Google, but I don't know. I haven't researched that's, it yet, so I don't know how true it I is. I have researched Oh, that. did you? That is not true. It's not true? That is false. Okay. Because I know someone popped on when we yeah. were doing the, the thing yesterday. They popped on and said that. And I was like, yeah. eh, I don't no, know about that. I got to no. do some I gotta do some digging on it. Google tried to buy it, but they wouldn't sell it to them. That's false. <sighs> What's the SSP whistleblowers in the secret space program? <laughs> like some of the whistleblowers? Yes, yeah, it says SSP whistleblowers. I've never heard of that. The secret space program whistleblowers. Oh, okay. But, yeah, and it's got them listed. <laughs> so that's what there. SSP you stands know, for. Like Dr. Stephen Greer is one of them that it lists on there. And uh, uh, it might say uh, 
I, I, Dr. Stephen Greer is the only one that I can think okay. of right now. But Well, y'all, we've been over an hour. But, 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 but we need a part two to this because I and am... three and four okay, and five. No, well, this, we, this technically, we can have 800 parts. I mean, there's 800 <laughs> points on the map. <sighs> She's not wrong. You got you great. got like a whole year of content right here, man. Yeah, but but for, but for the uh, the people that like want the this full map and like see like I can like zoom in on this and like this is a great quality. Yeah. I every time I've tried to look at this on Google, it was terrible. Mm-hmm. I had a terrible time ago. Because it's because it. it's a picture for a of a picture. There's an example. Yeah. No. Yeah. You know how did you get that copy? You searched it through DuckDuckGo, or you went to the website through DuckDuckGo. So that's crazy. So, so where can people get this? Like, what's the so best possible way? It's arthouse5d.co. Okay. Is I don't want to ask any more questions. <laughs> <laughs> he has all the questions. What's your, what was your question? I, I don't. It, we'll, I we'll, we'll, we'll get into it part two or get into it off, off, off air. Off air. But for everybody that want, just. I don't even know how to end this, but goodness. But for the people that want to learn more about what it is that all of y'all have going on, whether it's here to chew bubblegum or your solo endeavors as well, tell everybody where they can check all y'all out. Go ahead. You what? go. We'll go around the uh, table. You can uh, check uh, here to chew bubblegum out at here to chew bubblegum dot com. Uh, we also have some shows on local radio. Um, we also air on Spotify, iTunes, iHeartRadio, and so. Any major platform, plus hopefully another major platform coming on board within the next couple of months. Nice, nice. Can I say my website? Yeah, we can just like, I mean, we'll bleep it out, but spell it so that people know. So short fecal it's, show. It's, it's, <laughs> the, it's shortshitshow.com, which will get you access to all of my links for everything. From there, you can go to the TikTok, you can go to the Instagram, you can go to the research links. Um, so it's it's short, s h i t show dot com. Yeah, so that way people can yeah. th- th- for the ones that can't read lips out there. Yeah, <laughs> I like the short fecal show. Yeah, well, we're not gonna do that. <laughs> it, it ain't got the same twang to right? it, right? But but, but 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 I do love that name. It's it's great. Name. Yeah, so um, that's where you can you can find me and my TikTok handle. Um, it's either the or just without the the. I have two of them. Because they keep canceling me, so I have the other one as a backup. They temporarily ban you. Yeah, yeah I, I can't believe they just like banned you. Can't, like, I've all literally been canceled. Yeah. That's crazy. I didn't see. I didn't know that was the thing. I know oh, they yeah. banned you like for a short period of time, but I've no. never heard of anybody just being solely kicked off. You're like the Alex Jones of TikTok, man. And I had like 500 followers. I wasn't even like that big of an account. I just I just used the right hashtags, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, a lot of people that came up with similar inventions to uh, decrease the value, well, not decrease the value, but how much people have to spend on a certain thing. Uh, it's there's long history there too. I mean, I yeah, you know, I got a car that is a little, fun little zippy car, and I can get sixty plus miles to the gallon out of it, no problem. So. I'm going to have a talk with you off air. I mean, that sounds pretty good to me, man. But, y'all, I mean, like, for real, we it, we will plan out a part two. We need a part two to this. Well, thank you very much for having us on. Man, thank it's you. It's always it's a pleasure. Good to see you, buddy. Good it is to great you. to meet y'all. Thank y'all finally, for being on. Thank finally you. meeting you and not just hearing you on a podcast with him. Yeah, th- th- this is awesome, and Looking forward to part two. Me too. See y'all next week, folks. Wow. <laughs>